<sighs> Old Goosey turned into gnomes safe and sound. That's a load off. Yes, it would have been tragic if he'd transformed into an autophagos. Yeah, he's just fulfilling the role he was meant to play. I doubt he ever thought that his transformation might have caused the cataclysm itself. I feel for the poor Entelikea who became Matafagos in the past. If only they'd had the option of spirit conversion. Young lady, don't dwell too much on all the what-ifs. Maybe they didn't have a choice, but those who became Matafagos are trying to devour this world. That is the reality. I know, but it's just so sad. This looks like fun! Okay, let's go. I'm even stronger. is something Gusios created. Right. I remember seeing a similar crystal back at Ker Bakram. Yeah, you were pretty absorbed in that thing. The Rita radar never lets any objects of interest go undetected. Oh, I forgot. If Gusios undergoes spirit conversion, I won't be able to investigate him. There goes the Rita radar. Don't get carried away now. This enemy doesn't look so nice. Get ready for anything. Beating up the earth. This looks like fun! Watch my back. New man play!
this world is changing. What's wrong, Judith? One wrong choice could have led to far greater destruction, but instead the spirits were born. Sometimes we have to make difficult choices for change to occur. The spirits are proof of that. Maybe their current form shows the future the Intellikea hope to create. Yes, I think you might be right. One day, Baul might also face the decision of becoming a spirit. If the spirits represent evolution for the Intellikea, then... So this is Reloise? Yes, Baul says it is. But I don't see any air crane or Intellikea. Looks like we can take this path down. It's a long way down. Yes, it is. Now that is a sight to behold. Please be careful not to fall, Patty. Carol's the one you ought to be worrying about taking a tumble here. Th that's not true! Let's get going. Let's get going. Yes, yes, it looks like that's, that's all we can, that's can do. All we can do. Hey, hey, why don't we just ride Baul all, all the way to the bottom? The bottom. No, no, it's narrow, it's narrow. and the wind is all over the place. It's a little too dangerous. This wind is fierce indeed. This place must be where all the gales are born. That means this valley is the mother of the wind. The mother of the wind, huh? I can see a river way down at the bottom! This is what happens when a river wears away at the earth for years and years. Ah, the power of nature. Who knows how long it took to make this. Whoa! I get all dizzy when I look straight down. Idiot. <laughs> Well, just make sure just make you don't sure you slip, don't and, fall. slip and, fall. and fall. We will not go easy on you! I'm using this! 
This one's pretty tough. We must be cautious. Destroy on my sword.
our weapons are blades. This kind of stuff gets to us, old folks. Come on, old man. Yeah, you're gonna have to climb back up when we're done. He's dead. Someone's coming! Person? You. Duke. Appearing out of nowhere as usual. Many thanks for rescuing Yuri. Why are you the one thanking him? What are you doing here? We heard there was an Antilochia here. We came to ask it to become a spirit. A spirit? A being that comes from reincarnating an Antilochia through an Apatheia. We might be able to solve the air problem completely with the spirit's power. By converting air into mana. I see. That's why. Duke? Reincarnation. Converting air. You are trying to remake the world itself. All to solve a problem that humans themselves brought about. Such arrogance. But if we don't fix the air problem, the Autophagos will destroy the world. Belius understood. She became Undine and is lending us her power. Pharaoh as well. He was reborn as a freak. The proper form of Terka Lumeres is one in which all living things, including Entelikea, live in their natural state. You understand that as well. But what about Gusios? He was trying to control the air, but then he took too much and became really dangerous. Yeah, I don't want to think what would have happened if we hadn't reincarnated him as Gnome. Indeed, humans in Entelikea can find a way to coexist by pushing these boundaries. Even so, I do not accept it. I will protect this world. You said that before. So just how do you plan to protect the world? I will not interfere with you. So do not interfere with me. Ahead lies one of the oldest springs in the world. Pay it due respect. So you won't answer the main question? Hmm. Farewell. I doubt we shall meet again. Uh, hey! He's gone! Such a warm and fun-loving little fellow. I wonder what he's trying to do. I don't know, but I have a bad feeling about it. Let me go ask him. Not a soul alive would refuse to answer a beautiful laugh. Patty, darling, you just don't have the good graces for an approach like that to work. Rita, is something wrong? Well, 
I bet with his sword, with Dane Nomos, we could focus the spirit's energy on the Atafagos. Should we chase him down and ask him to lend it to us? Yeah, I don't think he's in much of a giving mood right now. Me neither. Well, whatever we do, we have to get all the spirits first. Let's focus on that for now. Let's eliminate them! Pick the wrong people to fight with. This enemy doesn't look so nice. Do we even have a chance? You thought you could win? Too- Some more. I mean Another art man. 
We can do this! So this is the oldest spring in the world. It's so quiet. The air is so clear. Never would have thought a place like this was at the bottom of the mountain. I feel so... at ease. This isn't really a good time to kick back and relax, but... it is so peaceful. Watch it! That's air, not water. It's really dense. You shouldn't go near it. You came. Hey, that's... We met you at the castle, didn't we? Chroma, was it? It doesn't look like you're trying to avenge Alexei. Duke didn't listen to you, did he? He's trying to protect the world in his own way. So what is Duke trying to do? He's trying to exchange the lives of humans to protect the world. What? Why would Duke do something like that? He doesn't trust humans. But Duke helped us! He even lent us his beloved blade! I assume he saw some of himself in you. Or perhaps he thought he wouldn't have to get his hands dirty as long as you were around. What do you... Why are you telling us about Duke? I think it's time you showed who you really are, Antilochea. Huh? What do you want? Is this just a roundabout way of saying you're not going to help? I too cannot trust humans, but neither do I want to see him take revenge on his own kind. If you can truly save the world, then I will not refuse to help. 
However, you have chosen a different path. You will likely confront each other. Yeah, maybe. If he is beyond your power, then nothing in this world can stop him. I will test your strength! Here she comes! Taking on an Antilochia. Come on, guys. Stay sharp. I'm not finished with you yet. So bring it! This is my wager. Will you win or will I? Nothing more than that. Leave the rest to us. I can do even better than this! Yeah! That's the luck. Marvelous. Perhaps you all can, indeed, save the world. Chroma. Do as you wish. Estelle, come on. Judith? Right. Do it.
it worked! She's sleeping. It's the same as with Gnome. A new comrade has been born. One who controls the winds. At times calm, at times violent. She is not taken by air as was known. She should wake before long. Thank you, Undine. Chroma did say she wanted us to stop Duke. It seemed like Chroma knew a lot about Duke. Indeed. Maybe we can ask her more when she's awake. Let's head back for now. Right. We don't have time to just hang around here. Oh, not that path again. These old bones of mine are tired. Bye. <laughs>